Hello everyone, I'm Tierra Sade. I am back with another message. These messages have been flowing lately and um, I just, I have a big list of messages that have been coming in and this particular one is very um, powerful, I just heard. So it is about a sacred child, a chosen child um many of you tapped into the video i did um about a week and a half ago about there needing to be protection for a chosen child i feel like this is a part of that message but also you know i'm picking up uh different storylines so truly truly take what resonates leave everything else don't make the story fit okay um, and as I'm even saying that, I'm really getting that many of you are aware of certain things that will be shared in this message. Okay, so let's just get into it. So someone is aware of the fact that you will give birth to a sacred child or that you have already given birth to this child. Um, for some, the child is under five, under three for some um and you know for others of you you could be this chosen child right um mm, this child is chosen in many different ways so for some they've been anointed right a, a chosen child has been anointed by the most high the mother father god god goddess has touched and blessed this child's life um for some of you what I, what I was trying to say was that for some you have given birth to um a child that possesses an ancestral spirit that has returned some of you this is a returned god a returned ascended master it's a part of your contract to give birth to this type of child so some of you you're needing to check your birth chart some people don't believe in birth charts and that's okay because birth charts believe in you honey you might want to pull it and see what it says about uh childhood as well as family all right check your houses because for some you've given birth to ascended an ascended master you could be an ascended master yourself and that just means somebody who's um you know, who embodies divine wisdom, knowledge, intellect, you know, that's an ascended master, um, definitely tapped into their spirituality, definitely a part of the supernatural as well. So that, that's another thing about this child. They have supernatural abilities. Their connection to the divine is unmatched. It's, um, it goes beyond time and space. And for some, you know, maybe you've already dealt with a gifted child. It could be kind of startling. Um, and for others of you, this is just, you know, <laughs> letting you know what is to come with your son or your daughter. Um, that some mystical, magical things can occur around their birth or around their, um, their development. Okay. I feel like for some who are resonating with a returned ancestor, this child is actually going to, I guess, pick up the torch or pick up where the ancestor left off. So, for example, if the ancestor, um, wow, I'm getting wealth. So if the ancestor was on the track to become, say, like the first millionaire in the family, but they had an accident or there was a death or something occurred where they couldn't accomplish that, you or your child, right? Because this could be you, you've grown up to an adult or your child is going to be finishing up where that ancestor left off, right? That's one thing. Another thing is this child is meant to do the particular work that the ancestor was supposed to do, I just heard. This ancestor, mm, wow, okay, a lot is coming in right now. Slow down, wait a minute, hold on. This ancestor forfeited their um, destiny and purpose because of conformity 
of wanting to fit in in a time where it was really important that you fit in, okay? So it's not any type of judgment or anything. It's just for whatever reason, this this ancestor couldn't fulfill that purpose in the way that they were wanting to or whatever the case. So now the child is carrying that torch, okay? I feel like you know this. I feel like for many of you, you've already decided whether you're adopting, whether you're an uncle or auntie, it doesn't matter. I feel like you've decided how you're wanting to raise children or engage with the family children, some, something like that. Um, hmm. I'm also getting there. There's, um, again, just like the other message, there's, there's need for protection to protect this child. You're going to have people drawn to this child, all right? And that can be a mixed bag of people. There's there's a need to protect this child, okay? That's what I can say. Their light is so bright. It's, it's alluring from birth. They're a natural born leader. They're a natural born star. They're, they're a the return of a god they're an ascendant master so they're gonna pull in all sorts and types of folks okay so i don't know what type of parent you are you might need to have a couple straps on you i'm just gonna tell you right now all right and that's just in the physical world there's also the spiritual aspect of you know um spirits and things being drawn to this child they can absolutely be a psychic medium from birth a healer from birth they're needing to be nurtured and supported and developed in that. As well as I'm getting a lot of cult shit right now. Why am I getting cult? Hmm. There's this cult type energy. I don't know what this is. It's, it's something like um, being watched or being paid attention to this child or you, like I said could be on the radar of some sort of coven or cult. There's going to be a need to um, protect the child from that as well, which is very wild. It's kind of like Rosemary's baby, but on the lighter end of the spectrum or something. What the fuck is going on? Anyway, wh whoever this child is, though, I feel like they're going to pull in their tribe and their community um for others of you if you're this parent you're needing to provide that for this child i don't know you may need to get land and go off in a country or something or, you know you may need to have um freedoms i just heard freedoms in place for this child to play to run to be okay they're needing that as well as the esoteric right we're in a different time okay so as a parent if you're not really well read or um pursuing esoteric knowledge and sciences you're going to want to especially as it pertains to your child and your family and what is being asked of you right now so like, again, is this coming back? If you never believed in astrology and birth charts and human design and life paths and soul urges and gates and keys and shit, if you're not into that, you're gonna be into that now because you're gonna have to provide a safe environment for this mystical, magical child. And I'm just telling you off rip. I've, I've given messages like this over the past couple of years, y'all about tapping in to these arts and sciences because you're giving birth to and you're existing in a world where that's going to be vital your spiritual foundations and practices and connections and understanding also i'm getting willing to understand these things is going to help your empire your legacy your children okay all right. Um, many of you, you're destined for this type of life. It's not any, nobody can, 
Nobody can interfere with this. You're destined to have this. It's law. It's written. Okay? Some of you are going to be shocked by how swiftly you move, moved or moved or will move into marriage, family, land, property, community, stocks. Like, it's going to happen swiftly for many of you. A lot of it is your own manifestation, but some of it is absolutely this mystical, magical baby that you have. They're pulling it in. Their soul is making it happen. The angels, the guys are making it happen for their development, their safety. I heard their longevity. They're needing certain things in place. So they're actually, this child is actually assisting the parents and the community and the household, right? She's causing this up-leveling. Oh, I heard a, a she. So maybe you have a daughter. but the, Or this, this could absolutely be a son. You know, and take what resonates. They don't have to be three. They could be seven. They could be 13. You know, they could be 28. I just heard. It doesn't matter. It's just... This is a gifted, chosen child. For some of you, there's going to be such a draw to you. And you need to be mindful, okay? This was coming up before I hit live and it came back again. Wow, okay? So you're needing to be mindful of who you're attracting at this time because there's something that's extremely alluring. Alluring? I don't know why I said it that way. There's something alluring about you at this time. You're, you look juicy and tantalizing. Your light is giving off some sort of glow where the wolves are around, where they could be lurking. So you're needing to protect yourself. What I was getting before I hit live or before I recorded was that um, somebody could have a child through an, ass an assault. I was I was really getting that. Someone is had is having or they had a child from an, ass an assault known or unknown family or stranger there's something there and someone had a child or they are going to um so be mindful like protect yourself and your energy but i feel like this is a child that was already born or already conceived this child is blessed despite how they were born or how they were conceived. There's a blessed child here. I feel like this is also a part of the last message I, I gave that regardless of what that child has gone through, they're still chosen. Like they're still blessed. They're still sacred. That's never going to go away. And as they move forward on their journey, that experience is literally like their golden ticket in life for some. It's kind of like, yeah, p turning pain into purpose for many of you, whether you're a writer, you're an actor, you're a singer, you're a creative. I'm tapping into a creative energy here. You, you just create like in your sleep, like you just manifest, you create. You, you're you're like amazing and I feel like you're you have given birth to a child who's also this way also I'm picking up a parent Ooh, and I just got chills wow mm. I'm picking up a parent who is worried that their child may fall prey to a predator type of energy that they've encountered in their own childhood the divine is really asking you to release that. For many of you, you have successfully broken generational curses. And for others, your child's conception and birth, their their life is breaking or has broken those curses. Okay, that's for a, a specific person here. For some, you can't, you feel like you can't really let your guard down and fully enjoy this beautiful moment in your life because you're kind of fearful of what's to come for your child. Let that go immediately. Let it go as much as you can. Work on it day to day, but don't focus on that because that's not the journey. For this particular person, that cycle has ended. 
it ended with you or it ended with the birth of this child, okay? For some, your child is going to be extremely wealthy. I don't know if this is something that you're passing down, like you're passing down a, 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 a really prosperous financial legacy for them, or they're, like I said, they're continuing the work of the bloodline and they're able to access this extraordinary wealth and recognition and high honor. Remember, I was getting natural born leaders in the beginning. They're born for this. For some of you, that can be overwhelming. You want them to have a protected life. And they will. It's just for some, they're meant to be in the public eye or a lawmaker, I just heard. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some of them are meant to be lawmakers, politicians. Wow. <clears throat> Others of you, they're meant to be gurus. They're meant to be um, wise ones. I just heard. Ooh, and I just got chills again. They're meant to be the wise one in the community. Or this is you. And you were born for this. Wow. Such a powerful message. Oh, okay, y'all. I, I feel like... Um, Some of you, you, um, wow. Some of you, you had a twin flame. You were born with a twin flame. You could have encountered them in childhood. Whether you all were friends in childhood or whether you just grew up in the same town but never really saw each other face to face, but you were always around. You could have been in like, close proximity like in, in like state wise right wow that's so powerful that just came in right now some of you you're going to be reconnecting with this childhood love or this twin flame it's your destiny to be with someone and this person wants you to have their baby immediately I feel like yeah this has been coming up quite a bit this is also coming up has been coming up for the past couple of years and you could very well be aware of this but somebody is just gonna see you and immediately just know that they want to build with you and that they want you to have their baby or you want to have their baby you're just immediately gonna know it's gonna be a soul level too it's gonna be more than physical it's deeper than that and it's because you have a soul tie or you have similar um, a similar purpose you're meant to impact the world on a higher level, whether, yeah, I'm hearing, um, like, whether or not you or this other person is on that same level right now in this second. That doesn't really matter. It's just the alignment and the vibration of your souls together is, is meant to help so many people, like, literally billions of people. And you're going to do it no matter what because it's vibration and frequency as opposed to like, I guess, conscious action. You know what I mean? So, yeah, my loves, that is the message. I really hope that resonated. This is such a powerful message. Like, wow. I had to record this. So, um... Yes, if you would like a private session with me, make sure you click on the link in the description box. I do birth charts. I also do birth chart protection magic. I've done so many birth charts for people and their children. Um, so if you're needing that help and assistance, book that session. You will not regret it. And I actually help you navigate it so you can always come back to it. It's not like I just do it and I don't give you any of the answers. Like I give you all of it. So that you know how to navigate this and move forward and kind of have things in place for your child. Especially if you're not really into that type of thing. But you you kind of feel that your child is meant to be in that realm or in that industry. Then you're really going to want to get that service. Also for you to protect your destiny and your purpose. So that you can 
conceive this child if that is in alignment with your path, right? Your unique particular path. Everyone's different, okay? So take what resonates again. Um, but yes, and also thank you so much, y'all, for subscribing, for liking, for donating. All that information is also in the description box. And I will see you in the next one. Peace and love.